Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the retrial listener provided by the test ng. So consider a scenario where you run a test method and it got failed. Now before arriving to a conclusion that the failure is because of the application bug or it is because of the environment issue, you might need to run that test method couple of times more. So in such scenario, the retrial listener helps a lot where you can specify that how many times you want to invoke a method upon the failure. Now in order to create the retrial listener inside the test ng, we need to follow sequence of steps. So these are the steps which we need to follow for creating the listener that is the retrial listener. The first step, we need to create a custom class that will implement the iRetry analyzer interface. This iRetry analyzer interface is coming from the test ng. So when you implement this interface, there is a method called retry which we need to override inside our custom class. The return type of this method is boolean. That means if you want to run the method again upon the failure, make sure that the retry method should return true, otherwise false. Once you created the custom listener, then you need to specify that listener along with the annotation at the red at the red test with the method. So this is the first approach by which you can use the retry listener. In the second approach, you can specify the listener inside the test ng XML. So we are going to discuss both the approach of using the retry listener in our upcoming video.